here we go heading out for our little journey here me and my oaky boy this is my walking boots and that's my walking talking oaky you know with his little morning dog dish so he likes to save dinner for later when he can he's funny that way so here we go babies out into the wild blue yonder look at this out here in this view spectacular man this is a panorama of the front end of my place you know pretty wild and awesome eh beautiful place to be in let me tell you guys i love it here in this old spaceship love so now we head out you know get ourselves walking come on okie dokie we going all i can see in this thing is my face it reflects back to me but there's Oki leading the way as he's inclined to man that's his way yeah and here's your old grandpa talking to you along the way man as we make our way today underway i see my face three times in that thing now <laughs> excuse the little humper bumpers here we might have to edit that out now here we are walking you know now you can see the yeah now you got a close-up on my hairy old whiskers there eh <laughs> how about that eh well, here we go man little walk today and we got a T in the road down here. I don't know which way we're gonna go. We gonna go that way? Adventure in the kind of uphill side? Are we gonna go that way? Towards the sand dunes? It's downhill, but then it's uphill coming home. It's a bit much, man, I'm telling you. You don't always wanna do that, I'm telling you. A lot of work. Come on, Oki. Where are you, buddy? Okay, come on, see, there he is. He's off exploring again, little punk. There you go, come on. He leaves me behind a lot, you know. He says we're going to the creek today, so that looks like where we're going. Okay? <laughs> we'll check in with you along the way here. See, this is the kind of scenery we have here, just as everyday stuff man you know just lots and lots of it look at this this is Crestone Mountain if I can get my baby to center it in a little bit there it is look at that thing is that amazing yeah god what a mountain eh I'd say that little notch right there, that is the Crestone Needle. See, it's right alongside and behind Crestone Peak. In this area, you can't see them all right now. We've got seven 14ers and a whole bunch of smaller peaks. Just all kinds of mountains right here at Guinness, you know. I consider them the castles, the theaters of the gods, man. Beautiful places of being, I'll tell you. Magic everywhere. And there's my little Oki boy out running this again. He loves doing that, let me tell you. <laughs> Just some of the amazing scenery we pass along the way. This is along Cottonwood Creek here, looking to the west a little bit now. Yeah, see, beautiful place to be in, I tell you. Spectacular. And here we are coming up on Cottonwood Creek. Of course, Oki ain't waiting for nobody or nothing. <laughs> there he goes, now he's turning a little bit. Says, maybe I'll talk to you, Papa. Maybe I'll let you see me. Now let me go over here and see what's going on in the little meadow over here by the creek. Yeah. Now this is living, baby. This is life as we know it. In the fast lane.
There's a little hairy walking down. There's my long shadow there. What you can see of it, yeah. Come on, Oki. And here, my friends, is the magic of Cottonwood Creek. Yeah. Is that gorgeous or what? And look how overgrown she is. She flows into a little pool here in preparation for going through what they call a meter gate. We'll give you a little closer look of it here. And when that goes down into the water and gives them a dipstick measurement, there's your little access panel right there. And this is where we measure the actual stream flow. It's all about water rights these days, don't you know? Tempting to take a refreshing dip in there today, I'll tell you, ain't it Oki? And here he is down by the stream, doing his little adventure, trying to get a drink of water. Man. The little sparkle fairies won't let him. See all the sparkle fairies down there? <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? He can get a drink over here. Right over here is easy, you know. But of course, that might be too easy for them. There ain't no sparkle fairies there. <laughs> There's our little smoking dope and meditating for peace place right back in there. If you like settling down and having a little session, that's where we go. Good place, don't you know? God, I love this water. There is nothing like sticking your feet in creek water, let me tell you. Awesome. Rocky Mountain High, baby. Another little shot of the meter gate, how that works. Yeah, let's look at the other side over here where it comes through these little tunnels here. These little steel pipes that aren't so little. Talk about a pool. Look at this one over here. Now that's deep and bubbly and boiling, man. That just makes you want to go swim in. Yeah, see? There's a nice little mossy shore bank right there. Nice little bit of swimming. A little warmer today, we'd be in that water, wouldn't we, Oki? There he is down there showing you. Right alongside the creek here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we having fun yet, Oki? Ah, look how he's smiling. He's a fun little guy, I tell you. Ain't you, buddy? Yes, you are. Just a fun little guy. Here's the fun little guy. And he know why. Don't he, Oki? He know why, huh? He says, don't bug me, I'm having an adventure right now. I gotta do some exploring. I'm looking for a place to sit, yeah. He'll probably find one too, <laughs> that was good. So here we are taking a divergent trail down to the west here. Looks like there's somebody way off in the distance there. Oki's checking it out, waiting for me. Says, come on, Daddy, set me free. Let's get to walking, don't you see? And poor old Oki on the leash, because we had to, like, leash up, because there's other dogs walking around the neighborhood. Keep him out of trouble, but he's having a good time. One way or the other, he don't let me sit around much, I tell you. Had a heavy snowstorm a few days ago. Knocked a few branches off the trees, as you can see. We're back here in the woods a little bit now, roaming around the sides of the mountain here. But there's a pretty substantial hill branch knocked off of that tree. Most of these back in here have been pretty hardy. Held up pretty good. Got pinon right there, and cedar trees in here, junipers as we call them, but mostly pinon in this. Well, there's a juniper right there. See that gnarly old thing? That's a juniper, yeah. Probably a hundred year old one or so, 120, something like that from the looks of it. There's some older ones over there. Got some interesting groves of trees here, I tell you. Really amazing. Yeah, just soak it up, baby, soak it up. So here we are, taking a break in one of those broke down old trees. Better be careful, got a little ants crawling around here. 
Yeah. Don't know what we'd do with them. Here we are. A little break. A little toked in a smoke, I think. Yeah. Keep ourselves on a nice, even keel out here. You know, you got to do that. If you don't do that, you ain't got nothing, babies. Oh, shoot. Need to move up just a wee bit on this gnarly old thing. There we are. Now we get in more of a relaxed mode here, you know. Yeah. Put that back in my pocket for a minute. So I don't lose it. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Time for a little respect to the sacred MJ and the sun and the earth and the heart united, baby. It's the way we do it. And to the directions, too. All of them. Yeah. Honor this herb and it'll always find you in a good space. Come here, Oki! He does like to roam. I have to keep an eye on him because there is wildlife out here. Oki! <laughs> Sometimes my whistler don't work. There he is coming up behind us here. There he is. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here. Say hi to me now. Come here. Get up here. Come here. Come here, my man. He said, no, I want to roam around down under the log, so that's what he's doing. we we'll just keep him close by. And I don't have to worry about him becoming an offering for something mightier than himself. <laughs> nature's way being what it is, of course, you know. And this is nature's way, and this is living in nature's way you know hanging out here in the forest and the trees you know this is actually a private lot that we're on can be purchased and a home built here if you can be careful about trees you see there's a little clearing right over there that's a perfect home site you could build a home without having to take out any trees and that's the idea you know you try to keep it reasonable and safe here you know so nothing gets out of place. Follow nature's example and <coughs> <coughs> boy, that's a good coffee. Follow nature's example and just blend right in, babies. You know that's the way it be and that's the way it is. You know and excuse me for putting my hat down over my eyes, but that sun is awful bright. Yeah, forgot to get my sunglasses, so now I'm getting, but it's a hazy sun, so I can take it. And so you just, you come to a little place like this, you feel the peace of it. I know you can feel it right now, just through the lens of my camera, but you feel the peace of it, you live it. And one little place will call to you sometime, and you purchase it, if that's what you got to do. Look at this big ass fly on my Levi. First thing to come out in a year is the flies, and they're coming out middle of May now. Here they come, man. Got two or three of them in my house already. Darn things. Just can't keep them out of there, you know. And I won't use poisons on them. Try to be nature. Try to be in nature. Try to be as natural as you can be, you know. Build, uh, you know, houses made of the earth, you know. Preferably dome-type structures made of the earth. Those are the strongest and they blend in the best, you know. And when you come home to that, you always get the greetings of the heart. Well, probably do at your regular house now, too, but it's kind of outworn its purpose with you. It's time to move on, do something a little different, get yourself, you know, in a little different space and don't uh, accept what's been and be what you are and go with that flow, you know, where the heart leads. That's where you ought to be. That's what I try to follow, don't you see? And I don't always hit it right. But I hit it pretty close most of the time, you know. When I'm off, I'm off, but I get right back on. You know, no cowboy never, ever stays off the horse for long, you know. And so I've been riding a pale horse of love for a while now, and it's 
really taken me far and it's been a good and gracious experience despite any difficulties I may have encountered along the way. I mean, there's always a little something going to get in your way. It's just the way life is, you know. But that's all right, you know, because whatever's in your way is not in your way. It's just there for you to see past it. That's the way I look at it. And that follows through in every direction in my life, whether it's, you know, a place to sit down and have a little chat with you or how much money I got in my pocket and what my needs are or whether I should be dating somebody or not, etc. You just go with that flow. Because I'm so completely in love with everything and everybody that it's hard for me to make personal distinctions and be in love with just one being and put all that focus. Because I, I can put it into one being in the sense that there's one being in all the universe. And I can see that in you. I can do that at times, yeah. But it's difficult for me to focus it down and say, this is the one I love. Because the one I love is in everything. The one is everything, you know. And it's like a new stretch on the old paradigm because that means, you know, the one is everything and every one. And you're just as close to this old dead tree as you are, which ain't dead because it's got branches on the other end, but you're just as close to this old dead tree as you are to the, the rest of life or the partner that you hold closest in your life. If you have one, you know. I don't know, personally. I think the old partnering thing of moving in, settling down, and doing the lover thing, and, you know, trying to make a life together may not be what we're doing anymore, you know. I mean, nature's changing, the earth is changing, everything is rearranging. So why not the basic areas of life, too, to go right along with it? Are you willing to challenge? I am. I'll challenge the very basic parameters of life. That that says we got to move in, find a twin flame, and love one another forever. Bull pucky. And when I say bull pucky, it's not that I deride that conception. I just don't believe in it, you know. Which means that I ain't, well, I ain't met a twin flame, but everybody I meet is a twin flame. You understand what I mean? It's hard to make a distinction between them. I mean, each person had a set of characteristics and personal application of the heart that to me is gorgeous beyond compare, and how can I make distinctions between them? Some are more pleasant to be around, some I could live with, and some I cannot, because just of my own personal habits, and my stage in life, and how willing I am to go so far, and not far enough for some, you know what I mean? But I'll tell you the truth, there's not, you know, despite all of that, there's not a living soul on this earth you couldn't move in together and have a perfectly harmonious time. Not a one. I don't care who it is. The ugliest person you ever met, the creepiest being, or the best looking too. And everything in between, you know, because looks are, that's just the beginning. A look is only there to charm you into coming around and checking it out, you know. That's what looks are. The reality is what you find beneath the skin. And what you move in with, you know. <laughs> and when I say anybody could move in with anyone, given, of course, the proper circumstances, which means... When you see yourself in this field of heart in the way that I do, when you begin to realize that love is just as strong and powerful in you for one person as it is in all persons. I mean, it's all right there in one, yet it's in everyone. So everyone is a twin flame. <laughs> the song of your heart. And when you can see them as this, then they become this because you help them see themselves, their true selves, which they probably hadn't seen before, you know. See, this is the area of what I would call new romance. It's a romance with life. It's falling in love with the mother love completely, and it's not falling at all. It's accepting the way that mother love is and the way that it works through us and going with that natural flow. Same way the birds and the bees and the trees and the animals do. Now I gotta go find Oki. He roamed off that way. Let's see if we can get him fixed up here today and finish this little walk up in a harmonious style. Babies, I love you. Thanks for being here with me on these videos, with me on the radio, with me on the television show. God, guys. You're the rock in my roll and the heart in my soul, babies. <laughs> I'll always love you for it. Thank you so much. And shout out to everybody. G. Ruin, Canada, Xanthi in Colorado Springs, and 
All of our other friends out there, forgive me if I seem a little forgetful, because I know everybody and I see y'all, but I can't always hold the names, you know. They, they uh, seem to be part of the past thing, too, that we know one another in, uh, well, spirit, heart, by coloration and vibration, you know. That's what we know. There really isn't a name for it, you know. It's just who we are. And it is a color and it is a vibration. And the more awake we get, the more we see of that. Awesome, ain't it, babies? <laughs> well, hey, <clears throat> if you got anything going on in your life you want to know about and you know the old man hasn't covered it for you, send me a little uh, note over at info, I-N-F-O, at, the little at sign, the Coyote Club, Coyote spelled with a K, and that's K-O-Y-O-T-E, K-L-U-B dot com. You do that, and I'll get back to you in a video or on the radio show. Or one way or the other, we'll help you know, perhaps even send you a personal little email. There's no charge for the service. It's just a way for all of us to uh, work it out together and realize the oneness of our situation, which means we could move in with every, everyone because we already have. We live in the earth with them, and we do get along. See? Well, I mean, there's war everywhere and shit like that, but that's an artificial environment imposed superficially on us by what? Energies beyond ourselves that we allow, of course. But we're getting through that, babies. When you realize how in love you are with all of life, you ain't going to be shooting or dropping bombs anymore. Neither will anybody else. And nature can be the way she needs to be, and so can we. And everything in it, under the sky... And under the stars and beyond them too, you know, everything can be at peace. Why not? That's our natural inheritance. I love you guys. Talk to you in a while. Be careful with cigarettes in the forest. Make sure you piss on them and put them out.